All right, my name is Leonard Pelletier. I'm from Freescale Semiconductor out of Tempe, Arizona. We're here at this year's IMS show to show the latest and greatest RF solutions from Freescale. One of the first things that we announced at the show was some of our small signal gas mimic devices. So we build gas mimics with the strongest supply chain that we have with a six months rolling inventory. So we always have parts available for upside risk. We are the leaders in innovation. We have the broadest product portfolio with over 360 devices in our selector guide. And we're known to have good global support too. This is showing one of our latest and greatest gas mimic devices. The part number is an MMZ, that, that, there it is, MMZ 2533-3. And if you decode that, the Z says it's an amplifier. The, 30, the 25 says it's a 2.5 gig frequency of operation device. It's a 33 dBm part and it has three stages worth of RF gain. You can see the gains are all above roughly 40 dB in all three frequency ranges. So one part with one design can cover all these ranges. And at about 25 dBm, the ACPRs are all better than minus 55 dBc, so this part does not need any air correction. Another device that we announced at this year's show was the MMG20241. So that is a two mega or two gigahertz 24 dBm P1dB compression point part with just a single stage. It's mostly used as a pre-driver for other amplifier designs such as Doherty or any other parts that you have. It's got about 18 dB gain and covers a wide frequency range from 25 all the way up to 2700 megahertz. That's what we have for gas mimics. We also announced some of our enhanced ruggedness overmolded plastic devices. Uh, one of the parts that we announced was uh, the 150 watt part. So this is a enhanced ruggedness. That's what the E stands for. It's a sixth generation worth of LDMOS parts. It, the V stands for high voltage. V stands for high voltage. It's a push-pull device tested at 500 megahertz and its P1dB compression point is 150 watts. So you see here gains are up in the 24 dB range. Sorry, gains are up in the 23 dB range with roughly about 75% efficiency. That was the 150 watt version of it. We also have a 300 watt version of it in the same package. So there, the enhanced ruggedness act, the enhanced ruggedness feature means that they're capable of withstanding 65 to 1 VSWR and gains are in the 24 dB range, 75% efficient. So that's the first time that we've brought enhanced ruggedness to the plastic packages. All previous enhanced ruggedness parts were in the air cavity ceramic devices. <laughs> We also have some new LAN mobile devices. These operate at a much lower voltage, 7.5 volts or so. And these parts are roughly five watts with 17 dB gain. They too are the 65 to one enhanced ruggedness feature and they're targeted for handheld radios. And one of the last things that we announced here at the IMS show is our, our, our GAN devices for military. IMS is always about the GAN, so we at least have to show some of our latest and greatest devices. Our motto is that for the military applications, we're saving lives one device at a time. Our military devices go into radar applications, also radio communications, and any sort of other electronic warfare parts. The part that we announced for the SIMS show is a 100 watt GAN device operating off 50 volts. It has about 12 dB worth of gain, 40% efficiency. But the most important part is the broadband capability of this device. Our single design covers 200 megahertz all the way up to 2.5 gigahertz in a single part in a single design. So that's showing the broadband capability of our GAN devices. That's what Freescale is showing here at the IMS show, and thank you very much for your time.